boxing, you know. Guerrero, once again, showing his heart, man. Moving forward from round one to round 12. Danny Garcia, living up to his name. Swift, moving around the ring. It took him a while to find those big shots, the right hands, the left hooks, but about from the sixth round on, you know, it was probably the, the, the slight fatigue not allowing Guerrero to stick to the defense and the sharp reflexes that he had early on in the fight. I also think that Danny started to relax and in the relaxing, in the somewhat of the mid-round fatigueness, you know, he was able to time. And once when he got the timing, he decided he wants to come in, I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna time him. He wants to come in, I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna time him. And he, he finally got into a rhythm, he got into a groove, and he is now the WBC champion of the world. I mean, that 12th round, right? That 12th round, those final seconds, that was tremendous. The fact that both fighters were going toe to toe, taking punches, no knockdowns. I mean, it was a, it was a great fight. They had me clapping at the end of the fight. Um, it was a good night of boxing for the sport, for the fight fans, and for the Walter Wade division. Hey, Keith, uh, do you, you want Garcia? We definitely want Garcia. You know, you weigh 147, baby, we want you. You know what I'm saying? You weigh 147, I talk about you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> you better stay away from that. <laughs> so, you know, he did, he did a good thing tonight. I don't wanna, I don't wanna take too much from him, plus, I have somebody else on my side. The, the nearest future is me and Sean Porter. Sean Porter ain't no slouch, you know. I think Sean Porter would be a hell of a fight for Danny Garcia, you know. There's tons of Walter Waits that could uh, be great fights for Danny Garcia. So right now, man, Sean Porter, Team Porter, we go way back. We know each other very well. I know him and his father are training really hard, preparing, doing their best so that March 12th, they can get an upset. Me, Keith One Time Thurman, me and my team, we're just gonna be prepared and we're gonna give you guys a terrific performance. I would love to say that I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna win. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look for the knockout. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's what I'm known for doing. So at the end of the day, on March 12th, you're gonna see your boy Keith One Time Thurman being Keith One Time Thurman. If I need a box, if I need a punch, I'm gonna do that. If if the counter punching, if Sean Porter wants to run into my right hands and my left hooks, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our best to establish the jab, see what kind of strategy Team Porter is coming in with, and then find the groove to take over and dominate each and every round. And in those rounds, we'll be looking for that one time, every time. I think you, Keith. Keith. Question here, here in the middle. Okay, well, we know you got your eyes set on Porter. We know you got your eyes set on Porter, but how do you feel about the WBC jumping so many ranked opponents to give Garcia Guerrero for this title shot? If what you're asking is how come he didn't fight Amir Khan? Not just Khan, but anybody else in front of Guerrero, including maybe yourself or Porter. You know, that's a, that's a good question, but obviously Thurman Porter was in the making, so that eliminates that. Um, I, I only throw, for people who ask this question, I only throw Amir Khan's name on the list. Amir Khan was trying to fight Floyd Mayweather while he was the WBC champion, and if they overstepped anybody, they overstepped Khan. Um, he could go ahead and fight Khan right away. Who knows what's gonna really happen on Danny Garcia's plate. But, you know, like I said, don't take nothing away from him. He was the WBC champion at 140. He stepped up to 147. He gave a terrific performance against Robert the Ghost Guerrero tonight. And he is now, once again, champion. Champion of two divisions. Still undefeated. It was a good fight. Terrific fight. Thank you, guys.